Okay, so we're going to play through a one-player game of stack bots. So this is my stack at the bottom here, and I'm playing against these four enemy stacks. For each of these stacks, uh, just off screen here, I have some cards I can win for clearing out each stack. So if I get through this top left stack, I will get the top left card from here. And that will then get placed on top of my stack. So the way it works, damage stays for the whole game. There's no end of turn, so there's no healing. So I've got me a few dice here as well to keep track of that. And I've got a hand of cards at the bottom here. So because normally you'd have all of your cards face down, you wouldn't know what they are. Because we're playing in a, like an x-ray mode here where I can see what they all are, I need to show that they're face up, these front cards, by just offsetting them slightly. And maybe staying on the camera. Here we go. Okay, so we've got some enemy entry effects here, so I can choose which order they trigger in. So we have choose an opponent to draw a card. That's me. And now we've got this spike shot bot, which deals two damage to my elephant. And because it's a spike shot, it destroys the card underneath. So goodbye, pulse bot. Now it's just time to work out how to smash through all these guys. So we're going to go against... This bounty bot kill him, get three damage, and let's do as much damage as we can here. So let's take out this nice bot. So he goes, and we then reveal these. And because it was my attack, my effect will go first. An avalanche bot is going to give us a new card onto every single step. So this is going to get messy. Okay, so with Avalanche Bot you lose the priority to the other player, so his will go first, and it's me to draw a card. And then my Needy Bot makes me have to play a card. So let's put out... this Kravis Bot and get rid of these guys. Crevice Spot sends a whole top group to the bottom, so we can worry about this nice spot later. And then their Crevice Spot triggers, which sends my top group to the bottom. And then my Crevice Spot triggers, and let's send their top group to the bottom again. And what we've done here is expose a whole lot of elephant bots that I can kill off with my zero. Elephant bots do not like zeros, so we can attack that guy, and then attack that guy. Has he got any more hiding down there? Can't get to him yet. Then I'm going to play an elephant bot here, and start smashing through these ram leader bots. Oh, we don't like him. So their power is like a leader, so the more face-up cards with them, the better for them. So this guy would be a 2, a 2, and this guy, unfortunately, is a four. It's an unforeseen consequence of that plan. So when they damage me, I will lose whatever the weakest card is in my stack. So if I hit this guy, I'll lose all these, all these zeros. And that's only if they're the same strength or weaker than the leader bot. One of the more complicated cards, but he's fun. So I'm not too fussed about losing these zeros, so let's go at it with this first leader bot. Take two damage and lose these guys. And then we'll go at this guy and go up to 4 damage and lose the 1s. My stack is starting to look unhealthy. So he's gone. Ooh, do we take on that guy? Let's... Oh, that won't work. Oh dear. Mm. And let's attack this ninja. So they die. Revealing these, and we can send a top group down to the bottom again. Let's send this guy, which exposes ladder, which brings up another face-up card in that stack, so we get that zero back. Hopefully we can find something to take advantage of that later. Their shark bot then triggers, and there's nothing damaged, so it does nothing. I can scrap this and reveal a bounty bot, who lets me draw a card every time I scrap another card. So we can start tearing through them, one dead here. One dead here, one damage, 
We can quickly replenish our army here. Another one here. Two damage. And then let's go for this guy as well. He is going to put my bounty to the bottom. Um, trigger my shark, which unfortunately kills my bounty bot. Thank you very much. So now we'll face up. Let's play the spike shot bot. So two damage to him and destroy the card below, which gets me an avalanche bot. Which brings out some more pain. Oh, sorry, let's get my stack first. And then. So their effects trigger. And they've got a ladder bot. So I will pull up this one. Um, shark bot trigger, nothing to damage. And then pulse bot, the strongest card goes, which unfortunately is one of mine. Okay, we're getting through them. Let's use this avalanche bot to take out the shark, this spike shot bot to take out the elephant, and this nice bot which lets them draw a card. And we just play that straight into play because they don't really have a hand. And actually, let's put it over there. Use this crevice bot to sink these guys. Avalanche bot again. So minor trigger first, so this B bot will reset the card below. Oh dear, they've got some big cards. So let's go B bot, throw away crevice bot to get rid of these. Use the zero to tear through all of these elephant bots that just came out. That was nice. That's made things a bit tidier. And then an elephant bot of my own. So we'll use this elephant to destroy this four. And then this three. Revealing a boss bot, which will destroy the highest card in play, which is this five. And also, this Ramida bot is five, conveniently turning his own cards against him. Then we can use this nice bot to kill, wow, quite a few things. Let's get all those zeros out of the way. Let's kill the two. Ooh, can we take them out? And we use this ladder bot to pull up this two. And attack the mace bot which gives me one damage, kills the card below and the bottom card. And brings out a pulse bot, which kills the fours. That's right on my stack. And then let's bring this guy back up. And attack the pulse bot. Bringing a crevice bot, which doesn't do a lot. And use this ladder bot to bring him back up. Why not? And then finish this guy. And the shark bot kills me. But it's a win. It's all good. That's pretty close. So um, that was the one player breakout version. You can change how difficult it is by giving yourself more or less cards. Um, there I had seven cards and three in hand. So a total of ten to their twenty cards which about half the number of cards seems to be a reasonable balance, but make it as tough as you want. And um, yeah, get in touch if you have any questions, and next time we'll show you how to play it when you have more than one stack and how the targeting works for that. So enjoy, thank you.